impressive was that after the fight? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, that's what he's capable of doing. And, you know, I would say that Ashton's extremely um, talented. Uh, and he continued to keep growing. I, I love uh, how the O-line and the tight ends blocked tonight. That was a huge part of it. There were some pretty big holes, and when there wasn't, he was pretty impressive in, in how he broke tackles. You know, the yards after, you know, contact were huge, and not only for him, but uh, Steph had one down the sideline over here. TG had a huge third down play, but I don't know how he made all those people miss in the backfield and, uh, you know, turned it up the corner and made a corner miss on our sideline for a first down and threw up the moment in the game. Uh, you know, you guys came up big once again in the red zone, had, had two pretty nice fumbles. What did you think of those? We saw your emotion after the second one. Yeah, we, um, we've, uh, we've created some takeaways down there in the, uh, in the red zone. We uh, got to do a better job, though, out in the open field. Uh, I promise you, we will be back to tackling on Sunday. We will do a whole lot of tackling. We need to clean that up. Um, I felt like we were in our fits and at the right spots. We just missed too many tackles tonight, and ultimately we played uh, too much football down in the red zone. But again, I love our guys and how, you know, when their back was against the wall down there, they came up with takeaways um, and they fought. So. Our guys are awesome. They'll continue to learn and grow. They'll do what we ask of them in terms of us as coaches. That's for us too as coaches. We obviously got to do a better job on creating permanent habits that are going to allow them to be successful. Rushing attack, I mean, with what you did against them last year, rushing for 300 yards and seeing some of their performance so far this year, were you thinking you could come in and have success running the ball? You know, that's got to be our mentality every single week. I mean, run to win. Bottom line, we've, uh, again, we've got an O line that's going to work their tails off for this team. We've got tight ends, the wide receivers. Um, you know, it's always got to be a huge part. We want to be a championship team. Championship teams run the ball. Wilkie got a chance to get in on the kick return today. He how exciting excited. is it to, <laughs> to have... you see how exciting? He jumped right in front of KD and took that thing from him. He did. Kind of he scared. did. <laughs> but how nice is it to have, you know, to have one of those Idaho kids representing, especially yeah. someone that was so dynamic in high school? It's... The whole team will tell you that, that Troy is a dude. And what I mean by that is, man, that he is so passionate, his mentality. You talk about a guy that shows up every single day, and has fun playing the game, and plays it a certain way, the way it should be played. Um, so I wasn't surprised when he jumped in there on the, on the kickoff return and jumped in front of KD to, to return the ball. And then, I mean, he pushed it straight, straight up in there and dropped his pads on those guys. So. Uh, you know, we'll continue to find roles. It's another young guy that has proven that he's going to show up every day and work. And that, you know, we can find roles uh, for those guys to contribute uh, any which way. Then we want to do that. We want to play as many guys as possible.